Microphone arrays are at the top of everyone's wish list these days, and with their newfound popularity, it's important to understand what they are and how they work before you drop them into your designs. The principle of how microphone arrays work is nothing new. As a matter of fact, this technology has been in place for over 80 years now. But it's just recently that this technology has been refined enough to make it usable in Pro-AV. Now remember, the laws of physics apply the same everywhere in the known universe. Therefore, if you can steer a pattern for a line array loudspeaker system by using multiple drivers, or steer a pattern for an RF antenna system by using multiple antennas, then you can steer the pattern of a microphone by using multiple elements. The key to understanding this behavior without diving too deeply into physics is to accept that the multiple closely spaced elements will always cause the pattern to change so that it dramatically narrows in the direction of the element placement while it dramatically expands perpendicular to that direction. This behavior is always true up to a half the wavelength of the signal. Now the wavelength of an audio signal is somewhere between half an inch and about 56 feet. Now we can agree that the spoken word is typically between 150 hertz to about 6,000 hertz for men and 350 hertz to about 8,000 hertz for women. So if we assume an average frequency of about 4,000 hertz as a sweet spot for the human voice, we can determine what makes any group of multiple elements into an array. The wavelength of a 4 kilohertz signal is about 3 and a third inches. A half wavelength of a 4,000 hertz signal is about 1 and 2 thirds inches. So any group of elements located less than this distance between them will result in having these physical array characteristics as a part of their behavior. While many of you are quite familiar with line array loudspeakers, you might not have understood that mic elements can be used in the exact same way to get the same results. Unfortunately, at audio frequencies, tight packing elements causes the unwanted byproduct of side lobes at even harmonic frequencies. So, we can vary the phase of the input signal to move the signal in time, resulting in some reduction of the side lobes. These phase adjustments also can increase or decrease the width of an element's main lobe. Now, incidentally, when you sequentially adjust phase proportionally across a series of elements, we find that we can tilt the pattern of the array in the direction of the leading phase. The undesired effect of these adjustments is a dramatic roll-off of frequencies due to their out-of-phase relationship with the source signal. The frequency changes are proportional to the phase shift that happens when using an equalizer. Additionally, the phase difference between elements causes an audible artifact that varies with frequency. So, we must be conservative with our phase adjustments as we tune our arrays, because everything we do has an undesired effect on the source signal. The key is to understand the trade-offs and weigh the overall benefits. So, how does this affect the process used in your microphone selection? Well, you now understand that the more dramatic the steering of a pattern lobe, the narrower the cue of the signal. You now also understand that phase shift between the elements caused by adjusting the microarray pattern produces an obvious sound that is not at all natural. The combination of these two can make the resulting sound somewhat hollow and unpleasant even to the trained ears. So while the use of self-contained microphone arrays can make installation quick and easy, the choice of traditional individual microphones thoughtfully placed for best coverage and not located too close together will always sound more natural than any mic array. Now I do understand that this is not always the best or most practical solution, but now you should better understand how to weigh the pros and cons of microphone arrays present them to end users, and help everyone make a more informed decision on microphone selection. <laughs>